Hey, buckaroos and buckarettes, it's good to be back with you. Now, a lot of us make plots in MATLAB, and that's sure a good thing to do. The plotting functions in MATLAB are very powerful, and you can make just about any plot you can think of. The only hitch is you have to learn to talk to it in MATLAB lingo. So let's figure out how to do that today. And specifically, let's figure out how to change colors of lines on your plot. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make a plot. So let's start in the command window, and we're going to need two vectors. We're going to need a vector of x values and a vector of y values. So let's start with the x's. Okay, that'll make a list of x's that goes from 0 to 10 in steps of 0.1. Now what's up with that little semicolon at the end? If I don't put that in there, I get it, it echoes everything to the screen. That's called an echo. You can see over here, by the way, there's 101 numbers, not 100 because it starts with 0 instead of 0.1. Well, I don't really want to do that. Let's, let's try this again. CLC clears the screen, by the way, clears the command window. I'm going to hit the up arrow and pull that uh, command back. Let's add a semicolon to the end. That suppresses the echo in MATLAB lingo. What that means is it doesn't uh, put all the results on the screen for you. And most of the time, you don't want to do that. So there it is. Now we're going to need a function. Let's just pick a cosine. Again, put that semicolon there. So if you look over here, I've got two vectors. I can plot one against the other. Remember, MATLAB likes to think in terms of vectors. So there, plot x on the x-axis and f1 on the y-axis. And there it is. And it's okay. You know, there's not nothing wrong with it, I guess, but we can do better. I'm going to push this over to the side here, and let's try some things. First thing, oh, hang, on, hang on a second here. The vertical axis goes from minus 1 to 1 because that's where the function goes. Well, it's not great form to have your function go all the way the, to the limits of the plot window. So what I want to do is I want to make the plot window maybe go from minus 1.5 to 1.5. Well, how can I do that? Well, there's a couple of ways. One is to do it from the keyboard, and there's this uh, parameter called axis. If I just type in axis and hit return, I get a vector. That vector goes 0, 10, minus 1, 1. What does that mean? Those are the x and y plot limits. It goes from 0 to 10 on the x-axis and minus 1 to 1 on the y-axis. Well, I asked it what that vector was. I can tell it what that vector one is supposed to be. I can do this. I'm going to leave x going from 0 to 10, and I want y to go from minus 1.5 to 1.5. Now the square braces are here are because this is a vector. MATLAB expects you to feed it a vector, and those braces say, OK, what lives inside the braces is a vector. So there it is. Let me pull this back on the screen for you. There. That's, that's what you call way more gooder right there. That's what we wanted. I can also type in grid. I like seeing grids on plots. So there, there's that. Now, uh, maybe I don't want a blue solid line. Maybe I want a red dotted line. Can we do that? Sure. And there's two ways to do it. One is from the keyboard, and the other one is a window of something called the property inspector. So I'm going to delete this, and let's try this from the window first, or from the command window. I'm going to bring up plot again. I'll just type in the first couple letters and hit up arrow brings it back for me. What I can do after the X and Y is I can put in something called line specifications. And that's a list of characters that tells uh, MATLAB how to make the, how to draw the lines on the plot. So that list of characters is a string variable. So I'm going to start with a single quote. And let's see, I want a dashed line. I want it red. Now I'll tell you here in a second how to how to do this, but for right now, uh, let me just de demonstrate it. There, there's red dashed lines. Well, how in the world did I figure that out? How in the world would I know that? Well, here's how you figure it out. So let's go over here and type in line spec. Okay, line specifications. And there, see line specifications. Click on that. 
So here are all the line specifiers you can use in when you make a plot. There's four different kinds of lines, solid, dash, dotted, and dash dot. There's the characters you use. Here's marker specifiers. There's a bunch of different point markers you can use. And there's color specifiers. So there's all the colors you can use. So let's try something. Let's make a dashed line. Let's use circles for markers. And let's make it red. And so the way this works is you just append all these characters in the plot command. So let's go back up here and say plot dash line red and I want a circle for a line marker. Well that's a small O. Not a zero, an O. So there it is. Let's pull this back up here. And there we go. There's what it looks like. I'll make that a little bigger. Now if we want to pull that axis command back up we can. And we can turn the grid on and all kinds of things. So there's one way to do this. Let's try another way. There's this thing called the property inspector. So let's clean up our, our screen here a little bit. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to clear the command window, CLC. Go ahead and leave the workspace, those, those uh, variables in the workspace. We'll use those again. So let's go X, F1, 1, and just hit return. There's the plot, just as we had it before, but without all the, the changes we wanted to make. And let's just click the arrow right there. And I'm going to double click on my blue line. And that opens up something called the property inspector. Sounds like something to do with real estate, but it's not. So there's the property inspector. And I can, in an in interactive sort of way in this window, I can start modifying that plot. So let's go. We wanted a red. So I'll pick red. Now, on, our, on your screen on this video, maybe that uh, red line's a little, little hard to see. So let's make the line width bigger. It's, it's 0.5 now. Let's make it 1.5. Now it's a lot easier to see. And we decided we wanted dashed lines. So there they are. Markers. Well, we used a, zero, a circle before. Let's go to circles again. So there's that. And we can do all kinds of things. There's uh, We can make the marker size smaller or bigger. So let's make uh, little tiny markers. Yeah, those are too small. Let's make real big ones. OK, that one's better. We'll use that. Okay, we can. there's some other parameters you can change here, but you can play around with the property inspector and uh, you can uh, modify the plot however you want, modify the line however you want. Now, can you use the property inspector to change the axis? Absolutely. Let's go over here and what I'm going to do is click on the axis here and right click on the vertical axis to open property inspector. Well, same kind of thing here. And one of the things I wanted to change was the y limit. I want instead of minus 1 to 1, I wanted minus 1.5 to 1.5. So let's do this. Minus 1, 5, comma, 1.5. Ah, there we go. That's better. That's what I wanted. You can change all these other things here too. We can change fonts and colors and font weights and all kinds of stuff. So play around with this a little bit. Remember the way to get here is to just click over there, right click, and open property inspector. And if you'd like to do this on the, the, you can right click here and open property inspector if you'd rather not double click. So there you go. There's the big idea how, how to uh, modify plots in MATLAB. You can change any parameter you want and you can format it any way you can think of. I hope this helps and we'll talk to you next time.